Hi, this is Dr. Kathleen Hallinan, and we are continuing our weight loss vlog. There is a lot of information about these newer GLP-1 agonists. These are medications that I'm sure you see advertised all the time on television. This is Trulicity, Ozempic, Victoza, Saxenda. These are the brand names of some of these GLP-1 agonists. And these are used... Um, their core use is for diabetes, however, uh, several of them now have done their weight loss trials. And what are we doing with these medications? I had the honor of taking the Blackburn Harvard obesity course earlier this year. Of course, like everything with COVID, it was online. Uh, but the, the real trending information in medications for weight loss is that you use them just like you do any blood pressure regimen or... Um, uh, for any other chronic disease is that you start with a dose, you find a medication that's effective and you maintain people on that and if you need to add a second agent then you add a second agent and you maintain people on that until they get down to the weight that is healthy for them. What are we trying to do? We're trying to change the set point that your body is protecting. As you gain weight, the longer you're at that weight, the more your brain will try to protect that weight and so when you try to lose weight, you're going to be fighting against processes inside your body, crosstalk that goes from your gut, muscle, brain. All these organs are talking to each other, and they are trying to protect a certain set point. What are we doing with these anti-obesity medications? We are trying to decrease that set point. And we're fighting against all these other things. Years of exposure from having sleep deprivation, um, from having uh, unhealthy muscle, not exercising, circadian rhythms being disrupted from jet lag, things like that, um, abnormal, like inappropriate or very unhealthy dietary uh, components. So all of these things are trying to drive that set point up. We are trying to use medication and lifestyle to drive that set point down. Um, so this is the, the, one of the first trials about semaglutide, uh, which studied its effects on appetite, energy, intake, control of eating, and I'll show you some of the salient points. So this shows the comparison between semaglutide and placebo on body weight, and you'll see that um, over here the uh, semaglutide or the dark arm uh, goes down about 5 kilograms when compared with the placebo, and over on this side we see that the body composition, your um, body fat mass, drops substantially with the uh, semaglutide versus the light gray, which is placebo. So it also has this class of medication blunts your appetite. So it causes a sensation of, sorry, trying to get this straight, um, satiety, right? Satiety uh, is better. Uh, you feel less hungry. Your sense of fullness is better. The dark line is the semaglutide. The light gray is the placebo. Um, you're less hungry. Um, and actually, the amount of food that's taken in is substantially less. So this is a class of medication that, uh, as always, you need to talk to your own provider or physician about. There are risks and side effects, as with anything, and those are important to go over. Uh, they can be nausea, vomiting at an extreme. You can have episodes of pancreatitis. That's rare, but it should be noted. And uh, I would encourage you to uh, discuss this as a possible therapy. Most of these are injected. There is now one version, which is the semaglutide, which has been approved as an oral formulation uh, for those of you who don't like to give yourself shots. Uh, but they're little tiny shots. They're little auto-injector pens, and uh, several of them are only once a week. So really, I uh, even the injected ones are, are relatively tolerable. So, um, so Talk to your provider about uh, this class of medication. We're using these therapies to try to reset or decrease your set point. Okay? Um, I hope this has been helpful. And if you uh, have other people that you would like to share this with, please do so. Um, hit the like. And if there's stuff that you would have suggestions or you don't like, please leave me a comment so I can either improve or uh, address anything that you have questions about. I do try to look at those. Um, so uh, thank you very much. And uh, you guys are doing great.